Hello everyone, welcome to Here We Go. In this lesson, let's talk about another very important concept before we start our chapter on capture techniques. This very important concept is called Atari. So what is Atari? Atari refers to the state where one stone or a group of stones have only one liberty left. So for instance, in this pattern, we say black has achieved an Atari on this white stone because this one white stone only has one liberty left at this spot. So the original pattern should be like this. And then when black plays this move, we call this move Atari, right? Occupying this third liberty of whites. It's called an Atari. Similarly, black can also play this move. This will also be an Atari. It is a little surprising that such an important concept has no English translation. Some people might think of this as a check in chess, but it is not the same because in chess, checks are always forcing, meaning you have to respond to it, otherwise you will lose the king. But in Go, Atari is not necessarily forcing, meaning if you play an Atari, your opponent does not have to respond to save the stones from being captured. So you can understand Atari as threatening to capture, but not capturing yet. So in this pattern, to capture white, black simply has to occupy the last liberty that white has, like this. But if white wants to save this stone, the only place that it can play is the last remaining liberty here. Anywhere else on the board will leave this spot open and allow black to capture. So Atari can really direct the direction of where a group of stones go. The direction of black's Atari will determine white's direction. These will be two different directions. And these directions will be very important when we talk about capture techniques. Next, let's look at four examples. For the two at the top, our exercise is to look at all the ways that black and white can play an Atari in the next move. So let's look at the upper left. Basically, you just find stones that have two liberties left. And we can find that these two white stones have two liberties left. This one white stone has two liberties left. And so are these two black stones. So for black, an Atari would be this move, or this move, this move, or this move. There are four possibilities. And similarly, for white, it would be this move, this one, this one, or this one. Let's look at the upper right. Again, we want to play an Atari move. You pick out stones that have two liberties left, and that will be these two white stones, this one white stone, these two black stones, and this one black stone. Right, so similarly, we have Atari moves for both sides. So for black, it would be this move, be this move, this one, and this one. Some are better than the others. And for white, we have this, 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 or this. These are all Atari moves that can direct the direction of your opponent's stones. Now let's look at the two examples at the bottom. This is about saving the stones. That is in a pattern of Atari. So on the lower left, it is pretty obvious that this one black stone needs a little help connecting and surviving. Right. So if black is to play, black can simply play here and connects and saves this one black stone. And in this scenario, this one black stone is very big. It has great value because it is on the fourth line. And if we allow white to capture this stone, then white has a great shape on, the, on this corner and has great potential towards the side and towards the center. That is why white's Atari here is almost certainly forcing for black. Black has to save the stone in order to preserve its own shape and to prevent white from 
getting a very good shape. In contrast, this example on the lower right also has an Atari. And to save this stone, white can play this. Line. But here, because white is on the second line, it is actually a very small move. Even if we allow black to capture this stone, black is not gaining much by capturing this one white stone. So it is a really small move. And that is something you would want to know, especially at the beginning of a game where you have to play big moves like this one on the lower left, but not this one on the lower right. So Atari is not always forcing. It really depends on the circumstances. And again, Go is not a game of capture. It is a game of territory. You capture to connect, and Atari can sometimes be ignored. Please remember that, even as a beginner. Thank you for watching.